Raise your hand if you ever had flu before. A lot of us, almost all of us. Did you know that your ability to fight viral infection, like the influenza virus, is sex biased? So women actually have a higher rate of hospitalization with flu compared to men. Even with the flu shot, women have a heightened immune response. So we women would actually experience more adverse side effect and increased vaccination efficacy with flu shot compared to men. Even with the COVID-19 pandemic, women have lower mortality rate than men. Even in context of autoimmune diseases, over 80% of all autoimmune disease patients are actually female. So hopefully, with all these, I have convinced you all that our ability to fight viral infection is very sex biased. But we still don't have a clear picture on how or why. Now, one of the major differences between men and women is the presence of specific sex hormone. Estrogen is the major female sex hormone, and it plays a very important role in many biological processes. The primary source of estrogen is the ovary. The level of estrogen usually goes up from puberty throughout childbearing stage in women and with anyone with an ovary, and it goes down, alarmingly down, during menopause. And all this thing I just told you about, increased vaccination efficacy, decreased mortality rate, all these also go down in women when they undergo menopause. And despite knowing all these phenomena, we still don't know the effect of estrogen, the major female sex hormone, in our ability to fight viral infection. And that's where my research comes in. I am studying the effect of estrogen in our ability to fight viral infection. Now, the key immune cell that helps our body to fight these viral infections are CD8 T cell. And as I just mentioned, the primary source of ovary, uh, estrogen is ovary. Now, to understand the role of estrogen in this CD8 T cell mediated viral immunity, what we do is we use animal model. So we take these animals, we take these mice, and we surgically remove their ovary. And for some mice, we provide them with some external estrogen source. And these are essentially mimicking hysterectomy and hormone replacement therapy that happens in human. We also have a few mouse model where the CD8 T cell, the key immune cell that fights viral infection, cannot sense estrogen. And using all this mouse model, all this system, what we have found that during viral infection, in absence of estrogen or in absence of an ovary, the CD8 T cell population and their ability to fight viral infection actually goes down. So losing estrogen actually causes or lowers our ability to fight viral infection. We're now trying to figure out which biochemical and genetic pathway estrogen affects this CD8 T cell mediated antiviral immunity. Now, I want to take a step back and look at the big picture here. Half the world population are women. In USA alone, over 1.6 million women undergoes menopause every year. Over 600,000 women undergoes hysterectomy every year. And these are examples of low estrogen population in our population. So it's crucial that we understand the effect of estrogen. Rather, the effect of lack of estrogen in this population and our ability to fight viral infection. So we can come up with the better therapeutics. So when the next pandemic comes along, we're ready. And that is what I'm trying to accomplish with my research. Thank you.